Greetings and welcome to Canada Immigration Matters. If you are a skilled worker looking for an opportunity to work and live in Canada, and you are already in Canada as a visitor, or maybe you are interested in applying to come to Canada as a visitor to apply for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program, you will be glad after watching this video to the end. In this video, we will explain how you can apply as a visitor to enter Canada and be able to apply for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program or for any other job in Canada. We will review some of the benefits of this program and what are the requirements and steps involved. By following these steps, you can apply as a visitor, obtain a work permit, and eventually become a permanent resident of Canada. Let us begin. What is the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program? The New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Project is a first-of-its-kind immigration project between the New Brunswick Provincial Government and the Federal Government. It aims to address key labor shortages in New Brunswick by bringing and settling skilled foreign workers to the province. The pilot program works with six selected employers to help fill labor gaps in several industries, including manufacturing, fisheries, food production, forestry, farming, and more. The six employers who are selected to be a part of this program have been chosen due to their exemplary record under the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program, their history of good immigrant hiring practices, and because they have the requisite settlement services for new economic immigrants. These six employers are Cook Aquaculture Incorporated, Group Savoy Incorporated, Group Westco, Imperial Manufacturing, J.D. Irving Limited, and McCain Foods. One of the most unique features of the NBCWP is the emphasis that the pilot program puts, not just on bringing economic immigration to New Brunswick, but also on helping newcomers settle and establish lives in the province. In line with this vision, the six businesses listed above ensure that they have robust settlement plans for housing and transportation, comprehensive human resources planning for recruiting and hiring skilled international talent, provide up to 200 hours of language training as required and offer guidance and settlement support to candidates who may wish to pursue their Canadian secondary education equivalency. What are the benefits of applying as a visitor for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot? Applying as a visitor for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program has several benefits, such as 1. You can enter Canada faster than through other immigration programs. As a visitor, you do not need an approved provincial nomination before applying for your work permit. You only need a valid job offer from a participating employer and a letter of support from Immigration New Brunswick. 2. You can work for a reputable employer who will provide you with competitive wages and benefits, as well as on-the-job training and skills enhancement. 3. You can receive free language training and settlement support from your employer and Immigration New Brunswick which will help you improve your communication skills and adapt to your new environment. 4. You can apply for permanent residence after working for your employer for at least one year, which will allow you to enjoy all the rights and privileges of Canadian citizenship. So, how can you apply for this program? First, you need to find a job with one of the six participating employers. You can visit their websites or job portals to see if they have any job openings that match your skills and experience. Once you have found a job with one of these employers, they will guide you through the application process for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program. They will provide you with all the necessary information and support you need to successfully apply for this program. If your application is successful, you will receive a work permit that allows you to work in Canada for that specific employer. This work permit will be an employer-specific work permit, which means you are allowed to work only for that one employer who facilitated your work permit. You can then use this work permit to enter Canada if you are outside of Canada or if you are already in Canada as a visitor and start working in your new job. The challenge for most foreign workers outside Canada, most of the foreign skilled workers are unable to find a job in Canada effectively from their home countries and most of the Canadian employers find it hard to hire foreign workers from overseas. Here comes the temporary government policy that allows visitors to work in Canada after meeting specific requirements to SO, 
If you are a foreign national interested in applying for the New Brunswick Critical Workers Pilot Program and you require a visitor visa to enter Canada, here are the steps you need to follow. 1. The first step is to determine if you meet the eligibility criteria for the New Brunswick Critical Workers Pilot Program. This includes obtaining a valid job offer from an employer in New Brunswick in one of the designated occupations, meeting the language requirements, and having a high school diploma or equivalent. 2. If you are not a citizen of a country that is visa-exempt for Canada, you will need to apply for a visitor visa. You can apply online or on paper. You will need to provide information about your travel plans, including the purpose of your visit, your intended length of stay, your accommodation arrangements, and your financial capacity. 3. Wait for processing. Processing times for visitor visas can vary depending on the country of origin and other factors. It is best to apply well in advance of your planned travel dates. 4. Prepare for your trip. Once you receive your visitor visa, you should start preparing for your trip. You should arrange your travel plans, including flights and accommodation. You should also ensure that you have enough money to support yourself during your stay in Canada and that you have valid travel and health insurance. 5. Travel to Canada. When you arrive in Canada, you will need to provide your passport, visitor visa, and any other documents that may be requested by the Border Services Officer. You may also be asked questions about the purpose of your visit and your plans while in Canada. 6. Search for work with any of the participating employers under the New Brunswick Critical Workers Pilot Program. If your application is successful, you will then apply and receive a work permit that allows you to work in New Brunswick. If you are interested in applying as a visitor for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program, you need to follow these steps. 1. Contact one of the participating employers and express your interest in working for them under this pilot program. You can find their contact information on their websites or at www.nbjobs.ca. 2. If the employer is interested in hiring you, they will send you a job offer letter and an application package for this pilot program. 3. Complete the application package and submit it to Immigration New Brunswick, INB along with your job offer letter and other supporting documents. 4. If INB approves your application, they will issue you a nomination certificate and a letter of support for your work permit application. The eligible occupations for this pilot program are based on the National Occupational Classification NOC, system and they include nurse aides, orderlies, and patient service associates home support workers, housekeepers, and related occupations, cooks, bakers, retail salespersons, transport truck drivers, harvesting laborers, fish and seafood plant workers. What are the requirements and steps involved in applying for a work permit as a visitor for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program? As a visitor, you can apply for a work permit under this pilot program if you meet the following requirements. One. You have a valid visitor status in Canada and you are currently in Canada. 2. You have a full-time, permanent job offer from one of the participating employers in an eligible occupation. 3. You have at least one year of full-time work experience in the same occupation as your job offer within the last three years. 4. You have a Canadian high school diploma or equivalent or you are willing to pursue your Canadian secondary education equivalency within two years of landing in Canada. 5. You have a minimum language proficiency of CLB for an English or French, or you are willing to take up to 200 hours of language training provided by your employer. 6. You have sufficient funds to support yourself and your family members in Canada. 7. You meet the admissibility requirements for Canada such as health and security checks. Steps to apply for a work permit point one. Apply online for your work permits through Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, using your nomination certificate and letter of support. You will also need to pay the required fees and submit biometrics if applicable. Two, if IRCC approves your work permit application, 
They will send you a confirmation letter with instructions on how we'll get your work permit. 3. Travel to New Brunswick with your confirmation letter and other required documents. 4. Start working for your employer and enjoy your new life in New Brunswick. It is important to note that the above steps are a general guide and the specific requirements and processes may vary depending on your country of origin and other factors. It is recommended that you consult the official website of the Government of Canada and the Government of New Brunswick for up-to-date information and guidance. As you can see, the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program provides an excellent opportunity for foreign workers to immigrate to Canada. Overall, the process of applying for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program can be complex and time-consuming. It is recommended that you seek the assistance of an immigration lawyer or a licensed immigration consultant like Chugo Immigration Services to help you with your application. As a registered Canadian immigration consultant with Chugo Immigration Services, we can help you navigate the process and ensure that your application is complete and accurate. We hope this video has been helpful in explaining how you can apply as a visitor for the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program to get a work permit and immigrate to Canada. If you have any further questions or need assistance with your application, please contact us at Chugo Immigration Services. Thank you for watching.